advice, my first advice for today, because I've just been kind of talking so far about my experiences. My first advice is that music need there needs to be a safe zone about music. And that doesn't mean that you, you know, praise your child when they're not, it doesn't sound very good. It doesn't have to be that. But there can't be shaming and there has to be a recognition of when the child is being vulnerable and just being careful, right? Being very careful to, um, when you give criticism that it's constructive criticism, that it's done in the right way and that for that you're giving heaps and heaps of encouragement and it doesn't always have to be encouragement about the outcome you know a child might be playing something and it doesn't sound very good at that point but many times parents this is where parents can get it wrong is it's like oh you know that sounds really bad you know what are you talking about like I don't think my ch my child's very talented like I don't think um, you know, what do you think? I mean, this is, and they'll be saying things like this right in front of the child, right? And the, and the problem with that is the parent doesn't understand the process. And what we want to encourage is the process. If the child is working hard of it, if, if the child has been focusing, then the analogy I always use is that it's like a plant with sunshine. You give it the sunshine. The sunshine is the encouragement. The sunshine is the acknowledgement. I see how hard you're working. I want to commend you for the focus that you're giving. I want to commend you with the determination that you have to finish that piece. I can tell that this is not easy for you to do and you have stuck with it anyways. This is the type of encouragement. It's about the work, not the outcome. Now, when a child sounds beautiful, it's very natural. Like, oh, wow, you sound beautiful, right? And this is great, but I find that it's a much more substantive type of encouragement when we're acknowledging the work that we're recognizing that that the effort that the child is putting in and that we're not just focusing on the outcome because in many cases to be honest with you the child is not going to sound good okay it takes a very realistically it takes a very long time for a student to sound good at music and that doesn't mean they're not talented and it doesn't mean they'll never sound good right? That's number one. That's one of the hardest things that music teachers deal with is parents' unrealistic expectations about what their child can accomplish in music and how long it takes. Patience, patience, patience. Okay. So much is about patience and it's easier for these children to do it. I mean, just imagine how hard it is for adults and how often friends and family discourage adults um, by hearing them. And rather than being able to figure out a way to encourage that person without, and this is the big thing I'll say, without lying, without just sending smoke up their butt, right? Um, because that's the other, many things in, in society today are going to one extreme or the other. And it's really about the balance because I also recognize that there is a tendency in the educational system today and maybe a parenting trend to be too encouraging like the child barely did any work and it's like oh my gosh that's incredible oh that sounds so good and that's also not right because now we're giving that child a false illusion we're not loving the child by being grounded and honest with them right so you know you could give a compliment like wow you know you have really been working on that um, you know, it's not quite where we want it to be, but I can tell you are getting there. And I think you have the determination to do it. Do you think you do? Can you keep working on this? Because maybe we want a little bit, we want it to be a little bit smoother, right? And I think that's one of the things I've learned from so many years in the, what I call in the trenches and music education, working with students hours and hours and hours out of my week, right? Some days, seven days a week. In some cases, you know, did students from all over the world, all over cultural backgrounds, all over levels, so many different personalities, day in and day out, being in that room with them, trying to help motivate them to not only to, from a metaphor place, to learn this piece of music or learn these concepts that were in front of us, but at, always in the back of my mind as a metaphor to help them build the self-esteem that they can learn these things, right? That they have these character traits that are needed to succeed in this world and to feel good about themselves.